Hey there, let's explore webhooks. They're an advanced feature of Zapier to move data anywhere you need it. A webhook is an automated message that's sent from one server to another whenever a specific thing happens. These can be useful when a service or use case isn't directly supported by Zapier. We'll be using MailChimp to get a notification whenever a subscriber changes their email address. With Zapier, it's as easy as one, two, three, four. Hey, I said it was advanced. First, we'll set up the spot to receive the webhook. Then, we'll tell MailChimp where and when to send it. Third, we need to get a test message. And finally, we'll do something with the notification. From the Zapier homepage, click Make a Zap. Then search for Webhooks by Zapier and select it. We want to catch a hook, then continue until you get to the custom webhook URL. That's where MailChimp will send the webhook. So let's go over to MailChimp. Find your list, then go to its settings page. At the bottom, you'll find webhooks. Let's create a new one. Go back over to Zapier and copy paste that URL into the callback field. Then select the events you want to know about. I only want MailChimp to use this webhook when an email is changed, so I'll unselect all the others. Click Save, and now we're ready to test this out. You'll need to update your email address of one of your subscribers. I bet you have a test subscriber, so let's use that one. Go to an email your test subscriber received and click that Update Your Preferences link. Before you complete that update, let's make sure Zapier is ready to receive. Click through to start the test, then go back to your preferences to make the update. In a few seconds, the spinning should stop and you should have your data. Check it out. MailChimp sends the subscriber's old email address and their new email address. That can be useful for updating across other systems. For now, we just want to send it along as a notification. So I'll use Slack to do that. Slack is one of over a thousand apps that Zapier supports. You can create your message with a mix of text that you add and data that came from your webhook. Let's continue and then let's test it out. I'm going to go over to my Slack. And there's the message. Click Finish, name your zap, and turn it on. It'll be ready to go anytime you get a new webhook from MailChimp.